So hi, my name is John Hodgson. I'm the art director at Cubicle 7 Entertainment Limited. And today I'm on a bit of a special mission. I'm in a hurry, so I'm not going to chat for you too long. I am delivering this package here. There's a bit of a clue what it is with Shadows Over Scotland and its Origins Award winner sticker there. Inside here, packed up carefully, is the Cali, which is the name for the Origins Awards, for Shadows Over Scotland for Best RPG Supplement, which I'm going to take on a little journey. It's come all the way from the US to Scotland. It's in Falkirk at my house at the moment, and I'm about to deliver it to Glasgow to the author, Stuart Boone. And uh, hey, you can come with me, and we'll go and meet Stuart. I was wanting to show you the view from not far from where I live in uh, Falkirk across the uh, plain of Stirling over to Stirling Castle and the Oakle Hills but um, appropriately enough it's a really cloudy day so uh, shadows over Scotland indeed we won't see we won't see much of the view today just just dark clouds and rain but hey as it should be up here in Scotland this train is for Glasgow Queen Street. So I'm leaping in mid-edit at this point to apologise in advance for the bit you're about to watch. Say sorry for the sound quality. As it turned out when I met Stuart, the Olympic torch had come to Glasgow. There was a huge concert on, the town was absolutely filled with people, um, and we just couldn't find somewhere quiet to record. Uh, we thought we were okay in the cafe we found. Uh, as you'll hear, the sound wasn't so great. I've done my best to clean it up, but um, it's not ideal. Sorry for that. Onwards. So here we are in uh, Glasgow at last. Here's Stuart, and uh, here's your Cali Stuart, yes, uh, passing that on on behalf of uh, Cubicle 7. So, um, congratulations, first thank of all. You, sir. Thank you. So, I should introduce you probably as Stuart Boone, the author of Shadows Over Scotland for Cthulhu Britannica from Cubicle 7, available in all good game stores now and on the web and so on. So, you must be very pleased, Stuart, to have uh, uh, won the award. Very, very pleased, yeah. I mean, it was a great surprise to hear that I'd won, uh, especially given the company that I was in, so very pleased, yeah. We've got a copy here. There it is. Just to, it's a it's a big old thick book, isn't it? It's absolutely jam packed with stuff. Yeah. Um, so I know from from the art department side of things, you know, get it, filling such a book with material must have been uh, no no small yeah, task. A lot of research. Yeah, I was going to say, did you uh, did you have a lot of ideas before you started, kind of officially writing, or was it a case of? going, oh dear, now I've got to <laughs> produce yeah, the book. It was actually yeah. both of those, because um, I did have a lot of thoughts initially. Mm. So when I when I actually wrote up the, the contents list, I had a pretty clear idea of what I wanted to do, what would be included. But then actually getting down to do the research, um, that took a long time. I spent an awful lot of time in the library, Mitchell Library here in Glasgow, the university libraries, um, finding whatever I could, uh, doing the history part of it, and then looking up towns, looking up cities, uh, and then of course the creative element, just coming up with stuff. Yeah, because, you know, that, I guess that can be the, some of the hardest parts, right? Absolutely. Just, you know, research is one thing, I suppose that's creative in its own way, but the actual bending it to call a Cthulhu is... Yeah. is but that was know. a lot of fun, because there's so much of Scottish history that actually fits quite well with the mythos. <laughs> so that, that was a joy to do. Um, and then really, towards the end, it was just sitting down and writing these scenarios and that took a lot of time yeah sure because there's six in the book and six you wrote seven book. I believe wrote seven originally yeah one yep. had to be chopped for size so yeah well we're working we're five. working with that one now so we'll we'll see that Good. at some point yeah. I don't want to say soon because I know how production schedules run we've got a lot of soon at the moment in the pipe but um, yeah no we were I was just going through that with Paul Bourne who did uh, the graphics in the book so we were going through that this week to okay. see if we can celebrate the uh, the award win with perhaps a PDF. A, a PDF of the scenario you know we shall see Very don't want to say too much lest okay. I be sacked <laughs> um, but yeah so um, what are some of your favourite parts of the book Stuart? Uh, it was really enjoyable to write um, a lot of the, just taking the research and actually writing that up. Uh, taking Scotland, what I knew of Scotland, and writing it out in my own voice was enjoyable. But I have to say, the bits that I really enjoyed was actually doing the creative stuff. So, uh, introducing the mythos threats, things like that, talking about the 
some bean or uh, some of those things like salty bog, the little bits, uh, the creative bits that I did here and there for, for each of the sections, that was a lot of fun. And the other thing, of course, was the scenarios. <coughs> the scenarios was a chance for me to actually uh, write something akin to the sort of thing that I had enjoyed growing up. You know, standing on the shoulders of giants almost with some of the, the modules that I've done with D&D and things like that. So a chance to get back, really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, great stuff. I mean, it, it must have been daunting doing like seven scenarios. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I mean, originally I put it in thinking that I wouldn't get to do all seven. I thought they'd mm-hmm. basically chop me down and say, well, you know, two might be good, three yeah. might be good. But then I come back, you know, do all seven. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've really got everything you need to do quite a, a you know, a, 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 I want to say campaign, but maybe, well, yeah, you know. you can, and I've actually yeah. had people come up to me at conventions saying they've done the whole, mm. but they found some sort of story to string them all together, great which is stuff. fantastic. Yeah, it's yeah. never my intention, but people have done it, so it's great to hear about it. I think we've all felt the responsibility of doing Scotland justice. You well, know. That's one of the things, I mean, coming in to, um, to write the book, one of the things I was very cognizant of, very aware of, was that I had to do it right. Um, it might have actually been beneficial in a way to not be Scottish because to me the sort of canvas was blank. Mm. I had to research everything. I had to do it, you know, I didn't, no preconceived notions, no cultural memories, nothing like that. I had to deal with everything on the same level. Yeah. So do a lot of research, make sure it's right, get it in there, do it proper justice. And I wanted to do that from the start. So. It's been quite interesting with some of the discussion online about that kind of thing, that I think uh, someone that was born and bred here in Scotland would have written perhaps a different book, but I think it would have actually been less accessible than that outsider's eye brought to it. You know, though obviously you've lived here a long time. You know. What was the most difficult bit to write? Off the top of your head. Off we haven't scripted anything, you know, we're just... A couple of the scenarios were hard. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, just actually because because of the way I did the writing, I did the source material first. Mm. So a lot of the research, very heavy up front, get it out, put it into the book. And then when it came to actually doing the scenarios, by that time I'd been writing solidly for about four months. Okay. And I was actually just getting tired. Um, and the, the trick, I suppose, was wanting to do them right, wanting to do them justice, and just sitting down and actually having to work out what was an interesting scenario. Um, so those, those, those were a bit of a challenge. Cool. Yeah. But they were fun to work on as well. So. Good stuff. A worthy challenge, maybe that's the way to put it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so obviously one you've stepped up to, and yeah, uh, okay. you know, like we keep saying, the book's been very well received, and uh, which was, you know, it's always a relief, I think, when you work on something and, and it goes down well, because you never know how no, these things are going to go. You know, you don't have the most objective view. Well, you know, and I, I knew that going out. I mean, mm. I, I knew I wanted to do this. Um, I sent that original letter off, and I basically said to myself, even if I only got to do one of these in my whole life, I would have had the opportunity to actually do what I wanted, which is give back to the gaming community. Mm. Yeah. Um, so it was a one-off, and I thought, you know, let's see how it goes. And obviously, I've been absolutely amazed by the reception. So it's been fantastic. Yeah. Great stuff. So cool. Take your hands off it. <laughs> you can take it in a minute. <laughs> so, um, what does the future hold for Stuart Boone? Award-winning author. Award-winning author, uh, which sounds funny, but uh, at the moment I'm working on a couple of different scenarios that will be coming out. Probably not this year, we're probably looking at next year by now. Sure. And I'm in talks with uh, two different companies for, for future books. Um, and certainly I plan to work closely with people at Seven and the Cthulhu Botanical on yeah, to cool. continue on with that. Good stuff. And uh, so we'll keep our eyes peeled for uh, the, the the last scenario. What's the name of the last scenario from it's the Ballad of Bass Rock? Ballad of Bass Rock. Yeah, so anyone from Edinburgh will, will feel mm. something close to home for them. Very good. Well, thanks for taking the time out of your day to talk to us, Joe. Yeah. And uh, well, thank look- you for delivering. You're very welcome. It's had quite a, a long journey, but Indeed, l- yeah. luckily it didn't take too long to get to you, so that's, that's all cool, and uh, it was my pleasure. And, uh, Thank you. I'm sure we'll speak to you again soon. Indeed. Cheers, sir. Bye now. Bye-bye.